Firstly, I want to apologize for my ragged appearance. I haven't even showered yet this morning. It's disgusting. I'm basically standing in my own filth. Quickly mic'd myself up to put as little as possible effort into reviewing my spy. I figure if the film's not going to even try, why should I? My Spy stars Dave Bautista and Chloe Coleman as an unlikely duo who team up during a pretty botched surveillance mission. Dave Bautista plays JJ, a CIA operative who's trying to get his beak wet in the field. He's trying to become a fully fledged spy instead of the shoot first, ask no questions later role he was playing with the company previously. Now he has a good name for himself. He has a great record. It's impeccable. But what happens when you put JJ in a scenario that's unfamiliar to him, where he has to essentially do nothing but sit and look at monitors all day? Well, things go south really fast. What good is a sting operation if you can't bounce quirky dialogue off of a partner? This is where Kristen Schaal enters the picture. She's always good. I mean, I've liked her ever since Last Man on Earth. She also voices uh, that lovable cartoon character in Gravity Falls. Can't think of her name. Great show, though. Great show for all ages. That is much better than this. Fans of community like myself, specifically that of Chang, will note that uh, Ken is in the picture. It's not anything I would call Chang-tastic. It's nice to see him, but knowing that he was gonna be in the film, I would have definitely Changed the script. Most of the picture relies on the relationship forged by JJ and young Sophia, the nine-year-old, I would dare say, genius. I say genius because very early on, Chloe discovers that she's being spied on by looking at one of the ball toys that the dog has. She disassembles the toy, pulls out the camera, finds the serial number of said camera, goes online, finds the manufacturer of the camera, downloads a companion app for the camera, which not only gives her access to the device, but also has some sort of a tracking beacon on it, which allows her to pinpoint exactly where the monitoring's coming from right down the hall in an unlocked door with no security whatsoever. And that's where she stumbles upon our two spies. What we have here, folks, besides the girl being gifted beyond all comprehension, is a very by-the-books, straightforward, paint-by-numbers picture. Everything you expect to take place takes place. Chloe's getting bullied at school. You know that JJ is going to teach her to stand up for herself or intimidate the other kids. Uh, JJ's having a tough time kind of getting rehabilitated with the real world. That's where the family comes into the picture, kind of pulls him back into reality. We have a very generic soundtrack, pathetic action scenes, which for some reason feature a decapitated head at one point. Parents, it, this is very fine though for your kids. Uh, it's, it's kind of cartoonish looking. There's a couple swear words thrown in here and there, but nothing that, you know, nothing's gonna really warrant a, a jaw dropping to the floor. I watched with my wife, who of course fell asleep around the hour mark, although that's not a testament to the film. She just has a hard time staying awake these days to movies. My nine-year-old uh, son watched it with me with a very passive, kind of tone, a very passive expression the whole time, just kind of like a, eh, that was funny, eh, that was, that was lame. My daughter, who's 11, bounced at about the 45 minute mark, went upstairs to watch Supernatural season one. She's just getting started. On a rainy Sunday afternoon, you can do much worse than My Spy. You can do a hell of a lot better too. I would stay away from this one unless you are absolutely bored and you're looking for something new to watch with the family. I would say it's, it's a lot better than Artemis Fowl, that's for sure. That, that movie was just trash though. This is just a very routine film with, with nothing new. Uh, it's got a lot of the same formula crap. It's got a dabbing sequence. I mean, it pulls out all the, the essentials that you expect from a film made in the last couple of years. This definitely is one that I'm glad I didn't see in theaters, not that I was going to, but since it was free on Amazon Prime, sure, what the hell. I'll give it a shot. I'll review it for the eight or seven people that are interested. Let me know if you watched My Spy and what you thought. I can't imagine anybody's gonna be uh, dying on the hill for this film, <laughs> but if you really loved it, let me know if you thought it was just meh. Yeah, that we're in the same boat. This, this thing doesn't need to exist at the end of the day. The next day we popped in Adam's Family Values, a film I've seen countless times and my kids love it. So if you're looking for something that you haven't watched yet, that's pretty fun for the whole family. I'd watch Adam's Family 1 and 2. I have no reason to plug them. I just we just rewatched them and they're still fantastic. Thanks for watching the video. I try to put out new stuff on a weekly basis, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I have a second channel full of more shenanigans and I'm also on Twitch now. So there's a lot of variety, a lot of options, and hopefully you can find these channels via links on this video itself. 
if I did my job correctly. Otherwise, they might be in the description below, or you can just visit the channel page. All right, take care.